So, Imsol is pretending to have returned to the future because she saw that her future has changed, and she is afraid something might happen to Son Jae. That's why she said that she and Son Jae should have never met in the first place. Son Jae didn't chase after her because he thought it was the twenty-year-old Imsol, and as he already told Imsol that he wouldn't cause any confusion for her after she returned. Son Jae is back in Seoul while Imsol is going to the hill. She decides to take a risk and make herself bait to catch Kim Young Soo. Before that, she calls Detective Kim to come to Don Pori to save her. Since it takes time for him to get there, Detective Kim could ask the police in Don Pori to protect Im Sol. However, Kim Young Soo, who sees her, will follow her. But Im Sol is able to run away from him and tries walking a different path from what she had seen in her future. Even though she does that, Kim Young Soo will be able to follow her and try to get closer to her until he is able to capture Im Sol. Meanwhile, Son Jae has returned to Don Pori, looking for Im Sol after he gets a call from Im Sol's mother, asking about Im Sol's whereabouts, as she should have arrived home. Son Jae then realizes that Im Sol pretended to have gone back to keep him away from her. As he has followed Im Sol before, he comes again to the place where Im Sol suspected will be the crime scene. However, as he is trying to find Im Sol, he realizes that Im Sol's future might have changed since Im Sol acted differently. When they were in Don Pori, and decides to quickly go back there. Arriving there, he quickly follows the path where Im Sol acted differently. He tries to call Im Sol's phone so he can find her, including calling her name. In the meantime, Im Sol wakes up because of Son Jae's voice and quickly shouts Son Jae's name so he can find her. Hearing Im Sol's voice, Son Jae notices the area being suspicious and decides to find her. Knowing that Son Jae is able to find Im Sol, the culprit is running away. In the end, Son Jae is able to save Im Sol, and this could mean Im Sol will return to the future. And since the accident was supposed to occur on May 10th, and this happened on May 7th, which means the culprit is able to run away from Don Pori, even though Im Sol and Detective Kim already informed the police about Kim Young Soo being there. Remembering what Im Sol told him before, Detective Kim is doing a stakeout on May 10th to catch the culprit, and this time they will catch him for sure. In 2023. Im Sol is worried about leaving Son Jae behind, and will quickly check on his news again. As in 2009, Son Jae decided to join Eclipse again, and they will debut under CEO Kim. Like Son Jae told Im Sol before, if there's a fate that doesn't change, no matter how much you try to change, it means the choice didn't change. Since Im Sol and Son Jae are trying their best to change their fate, it looks like their fate will change. Even though in the preview it looks like Im Sol is sitting in a wheelchair, she could have just been sitting on a bench. Since if she sat in the wheelchair, she would put her bag on top of her knee and not on her shoulder. Im Sol has returned to 2023 and will find Son Ye, who is not in critical condition because the future has changed. She will show the necklace that was given to her by Son Ye before they went to Don Pori, which she already wore there. They enjoyed their date and celebrated Im Sol's birthday. With the necklace, Son Ye will know that Im Sol has returned to 2023, and as they promised, they will come back to that theme park again. Stay tuned for the next episode as the story intensifies and see what the future holds for Im Sol and Son Ye. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.